Oi, oi, hello guys, and welcome back to the Fatty Catty Caravan. How are you all doing? And welcome back to more Kingdom Come Deliverance. Oh man, I'm having loads of fun with this game, and that's thanks to uh, Duality for showing me these little tips and tricks, and, and yeah, just basically having loads of fun with it. Um, right, so let's get into it. Let's continue... Um, and I'll show you what's going on, what's happening. I have done a bit of the main quest. I do apologize. Uh, I went and got Ginger. But I will link the cutscenes to Ginger and so on in the um, in the video. So you can watch them as well. But for now, I hope you guys are well. And let's go. Let's go. Right, so these are the video clips I've previously done off camera. So uh, yeah, here we go. This will happen so far. I'm looking for Ginger. A stable boy from Neuhof. Do you know where I might find him? Well, if you go south from here, you'll come across Old Andrew's Inn on the road. If you go along the road from there to the east, you'll reach Neuhof. I know where Neuhof is. The boy isn't there. Ah, I see. I can't help you then. I've never noticed anyone of that description around here. That's odd. The charcoal burners by the stream told me they know Ginger and that he comes to visit you. Horseshit! They probably just said that to get rid of you. Nobody likes a stranger sticking his nose into their business. It's the business of my liege lord. I'm here because of what happened at Neuhof, and that boy knows something about it. Let me talk to him. Hold your horses. First, prove you're with the garrison. How? You want me to bring the whole garrison here? If there's no other way. Because there's been two brutes asking after him too. And they look like they'd cut his throat without blinking. I dealt with that pair. I happened to run into them and, uh, well, it didn't end well for them. Really? And I suppose I have to take your word for it. If you want proof, I can take you to them. Hmm, maybe I should have brought you their heads. I'll take your word for it. All right, a bargain's a bargain. Ginger is hiding out in a ruined hut not far from here. You go along the road to Ujits until you see a path to the right that leads to a small spring. There's an overgrown path that leads from there right to where Ginger is. Keep your eyes peeled, though. You could easily miss it. Good. Thanks for your help. Farewell. So, yeah, after a little short way up the hill here, we just come across Ginger's kind of hiding, his hidey house where he's hiding out. So, yeah, we're just going to confront him, chat to him, find out what the latest is. Jesus, you've led me a merry dance. What do you want from me? I want to ask you a couple of questions. Why did you run off like that? Where are your cronies? And why did you kill that bandit? What? Right, one thing at a time. Why did you run off in such a hurry? B because I was afraid they'd come back and kill me. Who? Those, those bandits, of course. To get revenge on you for killing their mate? Killing? Me? I... I never killed anyone. God is my witness. I'm looking for your friends. Where are they? The charcoal burners? They're over at the... To hell with the charcoal burners. Where are your bandit mates? The, they're not my mates. They, they nearly killed me. I recognized one of them, so I thought they'd come back and... Recognized? Who was it? Talk! I d don't know his n name, only that he's from Ushets and he has a limp. What can you tell me about him? How do you know him? I saw him a few times in the tavern in Ushets, playing dice and boozing. And? I know he lives in a house on the edge of the village, but that's all I know. I never talked to him. Why did you kill that bandit? What? Bandit? I never killed anyone. This is yours, isn't it? I pulled it from the belly of a dead bandit near the stud farm. That is mine, but I didn't stab him. That fellow took it from me. What fellow? I don't know his name, but he's from Ujits, and he has a limp. He limps, and he's from Ujits. That's not much to go on, but I suppose it'll have to do. It's all I know. I never talk to him. And now tell me exactly what happened. And don't leave anything out. That's quite a long story. 
Don't worry, I won't get bored. All right. I woke up in the middle of the night because I needed to go for a piss. So I went out into the dark, same as usual, only... Only there was something there that shouldn't have been. At first I thought it was just a trick of the light, but it wasn't. And then it was too late. They went past, and I thought they must be horse thieves. I would have yelled, only I was afraid they'd kill me. So I waited until they were out of sight, and I started to sneak away. But then... Then the slaughtering started. Yes. I, I thought they'd steal the horses and ride off. That would be bad enough. But then all the killing started, and flames everywhere. And, oh, it was terrible, like hell itself. And then? It, it seemed some of them didn't like it either. They started squabbling among themselves, and some of them started running back where they came from, right towards me. And I had that thing in my hand, the hoof pick. So you stabbed the first one in the belly? No, no. He ran right into me. He was running fast for a fellow with a limp. He pushed me aside and I fell on the ground. Then he told me I'd better lie low if I valued my life. And he ran off with the others. I did what he said and hid. Then the rest of the gang ran past. And then? then? Then I waited in case that limping one from Ujitz came back. I didn't dare come out until I was sure. I think it was almost light. Do you know what they argued about? I didn't hear everything, but I reckon some of them were only there to steal and wanted no part in the killing. What about the others? Was there anything you noticed about them? Uh, I don't know. There, there might have been maybe eight of them, and two of them were really big. That's all I can remember. That's all. I've heard everything I need to hear, so I'll leave you be. Wait! What about me? Won't you help me out? Uh, perhaps I could. What would you like? I'd like to go back to the stud farm, but those cutthroats who want to kill me are still around. Will you help me? I suppose I could. Do you know where I can find them? I don't, but they must be lurking about somewhere. Well, I'll have a look. But if I find them, then... I understand. So, yeah, here we are then. I found the bandits. Bandits dealt with them, uh, told him... And basically, I just left him. I left him alone. I said to um, Ginger, "Go back and just hope for an apology. Hope they accept your, you know, your apology and tell him it wasn't you." The kind of thing. Uh, that's basically how I left it. Um, I could have killed him, but I thought, no, nah, nah, it's no point. He, he wasn't his fault. So now it's got a report to uh, Sir Radzik, and uh, yeah, here we go. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me, my lord? I managed to find a clue to the whereabouts of the bandits. Excellent. Bernard already told me what's been happening, but I'd like to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. The whole story, or just the gist of it, sir? It's up to you what you consider important. One of the Neuhof stable boys, a, a lad they called Ginger, fled from there and hid out with some charcoal burners. I have to say, there's a lot of them around. I never thought how many forges and ironworks they have to supply. That's true, but keep to the point. Oh, yes, sir. I had quite a job finding him. He was well hidden and with good reason. The bandits wanted to kill him because he recognised one of them. Did he tell you what happened? He said it wasn't one gang, but two. And one of them took fright when the slaughter started. Seems they were only interested in loot, so they quarrelled with the other lot. Then it came to a skirmish in the woods and one of them was killed. And the rest of them scattered. And did you find out where they went? All I know is one of them is from Ujits. I know enough about him to be able to track him down. All right. But those cutthroats must know who he is too, right? And if they want to get revenge on him or silence him, you'd better hope they don't get to him before you. So drop everything and get on his trail. Find out what he knows and then report back to me. I'm going to our encampment of Merhaya to oversee the security of the region. Yes, sir. All right, welcome back. Here we are, here we are, here we are. And the old Miller Peshek. Right, so I've got more tips and tricks for you, which I think I'll just do along the way, man, because it's great fun, man. Um, oh, I might make a separate video. I'm not sure, man. I kind of tell you what to do. But anyway, see old Miller Peshek, where his hat just keeps disappearing. 
Chat this guy. I told you this guy's a legend from the start, and he literally is, man. He will buy all your stolen goods and etc. But anyway, let me just quickly talk to him and I'll show you, all right? Jesus Christ be praised. <laughs> right. See this. I want to bet who wins on the tourney, right? You want to do that, 100%. So if you just click that. I'm betting on the tourney, I'd be interested. What kind of wager are we talking about? I'm glad to hear it. Right, this is how you become mega rich. I mean, mega rich. If I'd have known this from the start, the first day of playing this game, I'll be a happier man. Right, anyway. Right, just bet on yourself the maximum amount. 100 groschen. That's as far as you can go. Just make the max offer. A nice little wager. Well, mm -hmm. break a leg. Literally, I hope. <laughs> I love him. I just love him. Right, so just end that for a minute. God be with you. Jesus Christ be praised. Okay, so basically you've bet on yourself to win the tourney. And to make this process a lot easier, what we're going to do... This is just like an, an offset video, which is, you know, I just thought I'd tell you this because it's, yeah. it's the way to make money. Now, if you're like me, guys, and you just play this for the first time, okay, you're going to struggle. You're going to struggle. It's, it's a tough game. Even when, you know, you've got sword level 10 or whatever, it's still a fight, man. It's still a hard game, right? So... We want to give ourselves as much edge as we can. So what you'll want to do... Now, this is if you want loads of money. Now, bearing in mind, when you start looting some good armor off these uh, bandits and so on, um, it's going to be in a shitty state, let's be fair. Um, you can get repaired, but this guy is going to charge you an absolute arm and a leg for repairs. I mean, we're talking thousands. So the richer you are, the better you are. So let's just go for here. Oh, I should have left my horse at the door, but don't worry, I'm trying to do this quickly. So we'll do some questing, obviously, as well, but... Yeah, just for now, I just want to show you this, because it, it's brilliant, man. I'm, I mean, I'm up to... Uh, what's my money up to now? My money is up to 3.6k, as you can see. I mean, that's just like from one tourney. Bear in mind, I did have about a thousand to start with, but still, like, you've got to make some mega money. Also, there's a couple of things to this, which... I've watched some video guides on it, um, ESO, absolute legend, always watch his guides, he's awesome. Um, but he doesn't mention one thing about being overburdened, which is going to happen, and it's a massive problem. Right, so, even, and I've picked the horse perk, you can get, as your horsemanship goes up, you can get uh, better perks for the horse. I've chose the one, you can choose a faster horse, but he carries less. Or just like a mid-range horse, but you can carry more. So obviously I've chose that. And even with that perk and my weight limit, you're still going to have tons of armor left over, which you're going to have to just dump. I tend to just dump it on the ground and come back for it, but you've got to be careful because when you dump it, 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 when you come back to collect it, it marks as you're stealing it. So you've got to be... Yeah, anyway, we'll come to that. Let me just get off my horse a little bit. Right, have a quick wash because, you know, hygiene first. <laughs> Right, the tourney. I don't know what the next tourney is. I've just finished one. I've just beat one. Um, and typical. Look at the time. What's the time? Ah, oh, bloody typical. I bet the, the guy's gone now, isn't he? Yeah, the tourney guy goes in here for the night. And... Yeah, you're not allowed in there. He needs to search me. Oh, this is new. Well, gone then. Well, go on then. Yeah, go and search me. What, what's this about? Yeah, what's going on? Orders of his lordship. Okay. Uh, don't bother with this. Uh, you really want to search me? Uh, this is well. This is new. This is new. Okay. Well, search me now. I think I sold it all. Anyway, go on. Oh, come on then. What the fuck is this? All oh. these things are stolen. What things? Oh, leaving that here. Got it, laddie. What things? What now things, dude? Enter. Oh, hold up. This ain't good. What things, dude? Uh, I didn't have nothing on me. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Well, that's all. My sword is there. My heavy shield is there. <laughs> well, this is an unexpected turn of events. Anyway, it's all good. I've got all my armor. He must have just found a couple of things on me. I'm pretty sure I sold it. Yeah, I think he's chatting shit. Anyway, that was just weirdness. Right, that's not supposed to happen. Anyway, so yeah, you can obviously sleep outside and wait. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. I have to go back out. I can just sit on this bench and wait, I guess. All right, let's just sit down here. Now, what, okay, right, so the next step is, okay, so you've, you've, you've bet on yourself at Milipeshek. The next step is to come here. In fact, this is good timing. I'm hoping the turn is tomorrow. 
what we can do is sleep till... Uh, I think this guy gets up about 8. We'll have to just wait here till 8. Okay, so I've waited at 8 o'clock. Now, you want to speak to this dude here. The old Scarfhead. Talk to him, the Herald. The Herald of Andraste. What can I do for you? Now, what you want to do is I want to enroll in the tourney. Yeah, I want to enroll in the tourney. Do that. I'd like to enroll in the big tournament. You'll have to wait a few days until Sahanish announces another one. Come then, and I'll gladly sign you up. Oh, so we've got to wait a few days. Okay. Uh, right, okay, I won't be able to do that today then, the full video. Um, I'll put it as a separate video. But what you want to do, anyway, let's just say we've enrolled in the tourney, right? Now, you want to skip time to about, I don't know, one o'clock in the morning, something like that, one or two in the morning. Then you want to come down here. And bear in mind, at this time, remember to have your torch out. All right, so hold left on the uh, D-pad if you've got a torch in your inventory. Remember to have this torch out, otherwise you'll get in trouble by the guards and you'll be fined 10 groschen for not having your torch out, but at the moment it's fine. Anyway, yes, yeah, so come back here. So the, the, um, the candidates for the tourney will be sleeping one here, one here, one there, one there, one there, and one there. Right, so what you want to do, but you have to enroll in the tourney first, right? You, this won't work if you don't enroll in the tourney. Yeah, so like I say, come back here one, two o'clock in the morning and literally just strangle them to death and take their stuff. Take all their gear. Now, you might find yourself, or you will find yourself, uh, over-encumbered, uh, you'll have to, uh, there's a chest here, if you can get away with lock picking it, with no guards seeing it, just dump the stuff in there and come back for it. And, and put, obviously put as much as you can on the horse and carry as much as you can, but you can't be overloaded and get on the horse at the same time, right? Uh, but like I said, I'll probably have to do this as a separate video if I'm not making any sense. But anyway, yeah, so you just do that and then skip time again to the morning to about eight o'clock to about this time eight o'clock in the morning and then the tourney will start you can speak to the herald again and it will start and then you can just basically all the stuff you've all the armor you've robbed off the um the contestants they won't have any armor they'll stand here naked but not naked but you know just in their clothes and you can just batter them so easily and then you win the tourney and that's it um like i said again i'll have to do another video because i've got to wait a couple of days because i've just literally just won a tourney so Anyway, that's that, right? <laughs> that's how to, how to become mega rich. Right, for the meantime, what are we, what are we going to do today? That's more the question, isn't it? What are we going to do today? I need more sh savior snaps, actually. I'm going to go and buy some of those because they come in handy before we get going. Yeah, I've got... In fact, this game is so smart. I love this game. This game is so amazing. Even, you know, for its time, it was good. But when you're kitted out like I am, people have more respect for you. Like, they say, oh, hello, sir knight. Even though you're not even a knight, but because you're wearing the knight's gear, like the full knight's gear, they kind of, they're a bit more wary of you as well, as well you know. Uh, it doesn't work with the bandits, unfortunately. They just say, come on then, and they just, yeah, so. Anyway, okay, so let's try and pick up some savior snaps. I'm not sure where you buy these. I'm guessing just any shop. We're going to try and make the old pawnbroker down here, man. See if he has them. I'm hoping he does. We can make them, but at the moment you can't read. Now, reading this game is an absolute oh, butt fuck. You have to learn to be able to read before you can make the recipe. Like, you can't read the recipe. Um, I guess you could Google it and just kind of do it that way, and you know, but yeah, it's a bit of a shit. Good health to you. Good day, sir. Jesus Christ be praised. <laughs> the love say that in this game. Right, let's talk about trade. I need some Severa Schnapps. Have you got any? Please tell me you got some. Oh, God. Food? Oh, it's under food, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, marigold decoction we need. Yeah, I'll take that. Um, how much How much for five? We've got loads of money on me, whatever. Yeah, no problem. Severa Schnapps, wicked. Right, well, I'll take both of those. Cheers, dude. 799. Pfft. No problem. <laughs> now we better haggle for that. I'm, always haggle. Always haggle, man. I mean, let's talk about the price. Let's talk about the price. Well, let's talk about the price. What I tend to do, like I'll show you what I tend to do, is go for. I go halfway. Straight away, I just go like about, about not. Well, it's not halfway, but you know what I mean. Go about halfway on the bar. So about six fifty. So he says he's going to refuse it, but he, he, he'll come down 
Is this enough? It'll take more than that to persuade me. Yeah, it will, won't it? But look at that. Look, you dropped massively. Now, I have got a perk final offer. I think I'm going to push him one more time, but in my experience, he doesn't tend to. If we meet him halfway again, 700. Let's see. I think he's going to be pissed with this. Let's try. Finally, a reasonable sum. Oh, there you go. See? So it does work sometimes. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but never pay the full price, obviously. Excellent stuff. Right. Save your snaps in hand. Now, I know that's probably, that is a waste of money at the moment until we can make them. Um, right. Another good tip. Have your dog, man. The dog is amazing. If you've got the DLC, if you haven't, then you're going to suffer a bit more. This dog has helped me out massively just by, oh, I didn't mean to talk to him. Sorry. Let me just show you something. Yeah. So the more you praise him, in the beginning, you can just keep just keep praising him. Just keep praising, praising, praising him. Yes, it's tedious and all that. But again, you want to get this here. Where is it? Uh, skills. Yeah, Houndmaster. Right, the quicker you can get this to this level here, level five, and it won't take long, trust me. You can get the sick, sick em boy. You can get the old sick em move. So literally the amount of time this has helped me in combat, right? If a guy's coming up to attack me, you hold triangle on the enemy. And he's six, he holds him. So you can just get three stabs in and he's dead. By the time like your dog's holding him, the man's dead. So yeah, well worth that. Like I recommend it. It's like having a second person in the battle. Anyway, I'm, I'm chatting your ears off. Let's get questing, shall we? Right, what can I do? As I say, I've done ginger. I'll, like I said, I'll put the little cutscene in the video. I've done ginger. Um, just so you don't miss that. Quest log. Let's have a look. Right. Now, from ginger, we've got some information from him. Um... We found out there's a guy called Limpy Lubosh, and he, uh, there you go, some fellow was a limp who lives in Ujits. So we're going to have to pay a visit, visit to Ujits, uh, which is good because we can learn to read there as well. Um, the courtship quest I haven't done yet, but that's just a date to read. I'm not really fussed about that at the moment. Uh, Might in the sword, what's that one? Yeah, so the scribe. We definitely need to visit a scribe. So that's, we can kill two birds today. And then we've got another bandit camp. Um, I have managed to. I've done about five bandit camps for Sir Bernard. What is his name? Yeah, Bernard, you know. I've done about five of those for him, so that's fine. They, they just keep going. He's, I found another camp and another camp and another camp. So I, I think that's, um, yeah, never ends. So for now, let's uh, track that. So, well, we are tracking it, sorry. Let's show it on the map then. But, yeah, we'll fast travel to Townburg and then we'll go up to Ujits. Let's do that. What's going on there? You think you could just walk off with my prize? Oh, okay, hold on a minute. Right, we've failed the uh, fast travel. One second then. Let me get my bloody right. If you look, I can demonstrate the sick move now. Look, we can, dude, dude, calm down. Right, so he six them and then you just get free hits on them. Look. Just batter them. Look at that. Oi, leave my dog alone, you bastard. Oi. Can I let my dog alone, you son of a... There we go. <laughs> right, it's all kicking off today, man. I've had none of this before. I took his prize away. What is that about? Hold on a minute. Yeah, nice one, boy. Sorry about that. Oh, my God. You're getting battered, weren't you? Okay, see, so sometimes you can fail the fast travel. Um, <laughs> another marigold. Uh, right, we'll just leave that stuff for now. Um, but obviously, look, it's worth money, 444. I just can't bother to carry it all the moment. I think we're kind of overloaded. Right, we'll leave that. It's fine. Uh, what sword have you got, by the way, dude? Because I need to get a... What sword is it? Page sword I've got that at the moment. That's fine. Anyway, you done a, you done a good job there, boy. Good boy. I've got to praise him. There's the good, good boy. Mm. That's my boy. Nice one. Right, and... Let's get some food for you as well. Right, anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> it is all going off today. I don't believe it. Anyway, this is what happens this game sometimes. All right, so where was we going? Townburg, I think. Man, we didn't get nowhere, did we? Right, let's try that again, shall we? Let's go. Yeah, this, this is so, called so-called accidents, which is a uh, bollocks, probably... um thieves and robbers. 
again, this game is so pretty. I love it, man. I found the forest I was talking about in the last video. It's beautiful, man. Like, for example, I'm sure if you walk down there, you'll, you'll come across some bandits who have smashed up this wagon. It still blows me away this is a PS4 game. That's why I cannot wait for the second one. Because it would just be... It'd just Imagine how it would look, the second one as well. I mean, yes, it does use the same engine. It still uses the um, Cry engine, but with the new power, the new consoles. I mean, look at this forest, dude. I mean, look. Beautiful, man. Right, what? Hold up. What's happened here, mates? What has happened here? Oh! Fucking whole Hungarians. Here we go. Oh, humans. Whatever. Shit, we're going to get messed up by these guys, man. We are going to get messed I hate when a camera does this, man. Right, second boy. We've got too many humans here. We ain't going to... We ain't going to do it. We ain't going to do it. We're going to get slaughtered. Yeah. Yeah, that was obvious. That was actually obvious. And see what I mean? Like, I've got... I'm, I'm not overpowered, but I am, in a sense. But not for these guys. Right, okay. Load game then. Oh, wow. All right, guys, welcome back here. Yeah, as you can see, I got my ass absolutely handed to me. Um, <laughs> it's ridiculous. I have learned the master strikes, but I don't know. It's, it's going to take tons more training. But the thing is, uh, if you're training, see, I thought training with Bernard would be like um, just like you fighting. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, but to learn like the different levels, like level 10, level 15, so on, you've got to pay him. So this is why I'm trying to earn the money so I can afford to get a higher level man uh, but anyway let's try this again and I ain't stopping for no one this time I want to get some mace training if I can let's get a mace because mace just busts through armor you know what I mean uh, find out where the limping bandit lives right are we in are we here already are we I think we are excellent it looks that way Let's get off the horse. Yeah, again, guys, you'll be arrested by the guards. Not arrested, but you'll be fined if you don't have your torch out. So, right, where are you, dude? There you are. Okay, you're good. Let me just check his stats actually quickly, just because I don't want him running off. Man, what's the obedience? Hundred, perfect. Okay. All right then. So we've got to find out where Limpy Lubosh lives. <laughs> Fucking names. Can we um sleep anywhere here? Is it like an inn or something? Do you know, I remember this from my last playthrough. I absolutely robbed this place. Something silly, man. I think the scribe is here, if I remember. Doesn't he live in there? I'm pretty sure. It yeah, it does. There you go. Right, I can't do anything in the night, so I want to sleep somewhere if I can. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, this is Legendary Quest for the, um, what's his name? The, uh, the, the priest guy. He's brilliant, he is. Um... Right, we need. I need somewhere to sleep, dude. So I need an inn or something. I need a bed or. Oh, hold on, what's this down here? Yeah, that church. Oh, that scene. I can't wait for that. You wake up drunk in the ch <laughs> Um. The pretzel house. Oh, lodgings. Yes, perfect. Right. Jesus Christ be praised. Lockpick easy. Oh, that's a baker. Where's the lodgings then? Hold on a minute. Dude, take it easy. Where's the lodgings? It just said I discovered lodge. Oh, was it this side? Oh, was it here? Hold on a minute. Are these the lodgings? Easy, dog. Easy. Where's the lodging? It just said I discovered lodgings. Where is it then? Alright, fuck off, man. Dude, where's the lodgings then? Hold on a minute. Is this the lodgings? Oh yeah, this is the lodgings, right. A bit late that was. Yeah, yeah, I remember this. Yeah, I remember this place. The Ujits Tavern, right. It's... Oh, we can't go in? Oh my god, we can't. Oh my god, we have to just sit on the bench and wait again. <sighs> Happy days. Okay, well, it looks like we have another choice then. Alright, 
that's the way you have done with. Put that bloody torch away now, son. Okay. Should we try and question someone in the tavern? Are they open yet? Probably not. No, of course not. Fucking hell, where's this place set in Birmingham or something? Right, alright, eight o'clock then. You must be open now. <laughs> you know. Hooray, they're actually open. Right, cool. Right, well, speak to this dude here. I think I remember something about him. Alright, hold on. Jesus Christ be praised. See, I told you I'd love to say that. Right, the fellow with a limp. Here we go. Oh, well, here we go. So I've never used this. Let's use one of these little tips about what's going on around is here. Is there yeah. anything suspicious going on in these parts? Indeed, there is. Around here? <laughs> you should hear about what Vashek the groom has been up to at the stables. <laughs> when the head groom told the lads here, they fell off their seats laughing. <laughs> and that's not all. Just last night, Father Godwin was here. Calling fire and brimstone down on old Gertrude, the herb woman. Father Godwin, that's him. He's a legend. Not to make a fuss over some trifle either. He's an absolute Godwin. That's it. Ah, oh, I love that guy, man. Yeah. So basically, it's like it's like gossip in um, Skyrim. You can just get um, more quests. Right. Anyway, we're after the fellow with a limp, please. I'm looking for a fellow who lives here, but I don't know his name. Do you know anyone with a limp? What would you want with him? Well, it's no skin off my nose. The bastard has a cottage on the edge of the village by the road to Ratai. He's very forthcoming, isn't he? Um, I'll just quickly get every I can, every bit of gossip from him quickly. Is there anything suspicious going on in these parts? Nothing out of the ordinary, praise God. Okay, he's told us everything. No problem. Right, Limpy Lubosh. He's got a house at the edge of town. Uh, let's have a quick... Is that down there, yeah? Okay. Before we do that, though, obviously we want to learn to read as quick as possible. Garlic, uh, re Pedro. Reading is just an essential way. You describe. You look like it. Yeah, you are. God be with you. Jesus Christ be praised. Uh, the fellow limp. No, I'll I'd like to learn to read. Definitely, I would. I'd like to learn to read. You? Hmm. You don't look like the makings of a priest or clerk. But why not? I've taught all sorts. Bear in mind, it won't be all that easy. You'll need plenty of time and a few groschen for my trouble. I mean, of course you want groschen. Although you're not extortionate with it. Uh, we can get started quickly. All right. I don't want to waste time. We can get started. The sooner I master it, the better. Very well. I will require some groschen from you, though, and set aside at least a couple of days so I can put you through your paces, if indeed time is of the essence. Hmm, okay. Now, you've got to be careful, because if we've got, like, timed quests, we will fail them. All right, I'll just have enough money for now. I'll come back to you, though, dude. I don't have enough money. I'll come back when I have. Yeah. Right, cool. We've got the quest now, so. Right, lovely. Get money for the scribe. Yeah, wicked would we'll do that. Yeah, because this game is brutal with regards to um, a couple of days' time. He might not be there. He might be there. Main quest might be okay, but you know, you never know, so I can't remember off the top of my head. Let's go and see uh, Limpy Lubosh. I mean, look at these views, man. Just uh, fantastic. It's just such a game. The game so it's such a shame. The game is so hard. Like you see what happened to me on the humans. I mean, I remember I used the exploit to a certain extent, but Jesus Christ, they battered me. Five of them, I think it was. Wasn't it? The thing is, we get hit. You get the camera just all over the shop, man. You're getting hit from every side, and you're spinning and. You're like, where do I even start, man? I was holding block the whole time. But I think because I pressed block a bit too late, they were just battering me. Absolutely battering me. I need, I need to sort this Bernard thing out, but I need money first because you have to pay him to level up. Here, so it's a bit of a shit, but... Oh, I remember this. Oh, 
Move along, citizens. Move along. There's nothing to see here. That's what you call nothing to see. I'd like to know what something to see looks like. By the keys of St. Peter, this is all I need. We'll have to send word to Sir Hanush. That might not be necessary. Who are you? I'm Henry of Scalitz, in the service of Hanush's Captain Bernard. I'm investigating the attack at Neuhof, and I think this could be related. Well, I'm the bailiff of Auschwitz. And I say we don't want any of that kind of trouble around here. What makes you think this has anything to do with Neuhof? One of the folk at the stud farm recognized someone from Auschwitz among the bandits. They have no bandits or murderers around here. Really? They say he had a limp? Shit. Allow me to introduce you to Limpy Lubosch. Or all that's left of him. to take a look around and ask a few more questions, if that's all right with you. You can take this mess off my hands and welcome to it. As for what else there is to find out, I don't know. But look and ask all you like. Yeah, I remember this. I remember this. You have to question all these people. Don't you? Oh, okay, right. Who was Limpy Lubosch? When was the body found, more like? Yeah. When did you find the body? And did anyone see anything? Just now. And nobody saw or heard anything. I don't know how they could gut him like that without someone hearing him scream. So, who was Limpy Lubosch? Who was Limpy Lubosch? A poor crofter and a scoundrel. Can't say I'm too surprised what happened to him. He kept company with all sorts of vermin. He was always getting into some kind of trouble. Punch-ups in the tavern and what have you. Well, I guess I should ask, why did he limp? How come he limped? He got that from some villainy or brawl a long time ago. OK. <laughs> uh, did you know anything suspicious? Has he been up to anything suspicious lately? Hmm. I don't know. The last few days he didn't go anywhere. He was home the whole time. But he always kept everyone in the village at arm's length. Okay, uh, did he have any cronies? Did he have any kith or kin in the village? Mm, none. A loner he was. I don't know the last time I saw him with anyone. Right, where was he on the night of Neuhof? was raided, yeah. Do you happen to know where he was on the night of the Neuhof raid? I've no idea. He kept his distance from other folk. So you never knew if he was away or holed up at home. All right, well, that was helpful. Okay, cheers, dude. Oh, just stopped raining, as if by magic. Yeah, we have to question these people, don't we? I remember. we try this one here. God watch over you, good night. Especially in these dark times. Can I do something for you? You see, you notice that she called me good night because um, of the kit I'm wearing, man. It's really good. Right, can you tell me something about I've come Lubosch? in the name of Sir Hanish of Leipa. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Right, who do you meet with? That's all I want to know. Do you know right who Lubosch used to spend time with? Here, no friends. He was always a loner. Except lately he started talking to the parish priest of all people. Okay, that's cool. We're getting somewhere. Right, thank you very much. That's all. Thank you. Goodbye. But I swear, I don't know if it might it might not be him, but I remember one of them used to, used to see a bath wench and um you have to go and I'm getting, maybe getting the quest mixed up in my head. Uh, let me just see on the map where it's telling me to go now. Yeah, cool. Okay. Let's go to the church then. 
I love that look because it's raining. She's quickly running for cover. <laughs> All right, let's go to the. Uh, where was the church again? I think it was down here, wasn't it? Yeah. Thief! What? I got him. I got him. Don't worry. I got him. Fuck you, mate. I got him for you. There you go. I caught him for you, son. <laughs> oh, hold on, mate. I want to loot him first, actually. Thank you. I'll take the Groshen. Cheers. And lockpick. You oh. showed him. Yeah. I showed him. No problem. You can't trust anyone these days. <clears throat> and just so you know, I'm no pinch person. Here's a small reward. Thanks. Nice. Cheers, son. My pleasure to help, you know what I mean? Right, let's take the lockpick. Now the question is... Oh, do we kill him? But obviously not, no. I'll let him go for now. Go on, you little scumbag. If I catch you again, you're dead. Uh, anyway. <laughs> nice little quick scene. Right, where's the church, dude? I can't remember. Okay, one second. Right, where's the church gone? Over here, isn't it? Come on, come on, come on. Here it is. What? Everyone's so jumpy in this game, aren't they? Who's there? What's that? <laughs> Right, let's go and have a word with this absolute legend, Godwin, man. Right, is he here? Well, he's supposed to be. I don't know where else we'd be. In the tavern, maybe. Hello, Godwin. Are you home, son? Doesn't look like it. Right, hold on. Where are you, Godwin? Oh, here he is. Here we go. Mr. Godwin, sir. Hello. I want to talk to you. Right, can I ask you a few questions about Lubosch? Yes. Blessings of our good Lord be with you, Father. I'm here in the name of Sir Hannes of Lypa, investigating the massacre at Neuhof. It seems to be connected to a murder here. Can I ask you a few questions? It seems Sir Hannes is employing children as investigators. But ask as you wish, boy. I hope this nasty business will be cleared up quickly. Did you know Lubos? What was he like? A bit of a lost soul. Simple, rough fellow, but at heart I don't think he was such a bad person. Uh, did you notice anything suspicious? Did you notice anything suspicious recently? My child, all sorts of suspicious things have been going on. People like Lubos don't know what to do about it, and sometimes they do stupid things. That's really not a lot of help to you, Father. I'm sorry to hear that. He's going to be a stubborn like the rest of them. Uh, what was Lubos doing on the night of Neuhoff raid? Do you know what Lubos was doing on the day Neuhoff was raided? Unfortunately, I do know. And I'd like to help you with your investigation, but I can't. What? I'm bound by certain vows that forbid me to tell you. Vows more important than catching dangerous murderers? There are laws of God above the laws of man, son. And one of those is the sanctity of the confessional. <laughs> you little pain in the ass. There has to be some exception. Come on. Father, surely you can't be serious. There must be situations in which you can make an exception. There are things that apply always, no matter what the circumstances, and this is one of them. Okay, be careful I pick here. We've got a plus one to speech and intimidation, obviously. I'll get the commission by force. I don't really want to use that, but you could be condemning innocent people to death. Yeah, let's try that. Oh, I don't know. Go on, let's try that. For heaven's sake, Father. Can you really look me in the eye and tell me that, when you know you may be condemning innocent people to death? I can, 
because if I broke that vow, the consequences would be much worse than if I didn't. Maybe not immediately, but one day. The mills of God grind slowly. Oh, for God's sake. Lubosch was my only lead, dude. And you just go and, because of your bloody high principles. Father, Lubosch was my only lead to the Neuhoff Raiders. Only he could tell me who was responsible for that massacre. If I don't find out who it was, it will probably happen again. Surely you wouldn't want that. I wouldn't. But I can't betray the sanctity of the confession. I'll tell you what. Give me some time and I'll try to think up some way of helping. Suppose we talk it over in the evening. In the tavern. Over a cup of good wine. Maybe we'll come up with something. All right. Thank you, Father. Take care now. Oh yeah, this is the quest I like. Yeah, I think it's my favourite quest, this one. Um, actually, can I talk to him about his sword play as well? Hold on. Can I talk to you about your sword? Uh, you know how to wield a sword. I see you know how to wield a sword. I wouldn't have expected that from a man of the cloth. With a stick. I practice with a stick. It's a reminder of my youth and days gone by, and it helps keep me in good form. All right, so aside from that, do you have any work for me? Do you have any work that needs to do? My dear lad, I have more worries than I can bear. Another pair of shoulders would ease my burden. I have to deal with a local witch. A witch? The herb woman, old Gertrude. That devious hag who will stoop to anything. Like all herbalists, for that matter. Oh, don't tell me. The cows are giving blood instead of milk, and babies are being born with two heads and a tail. This is no laughing matter. Gertrude isn't evil, she just has peculiar ideas about what's good for people. A little bird told me she incited some Ujets women to witchery. Oh, this is the thingy quest. Ah, oh, this is the trippy, trippy quest, the witch quest, is it? Yeah. Um, a little bird told you. Uh, go on then, I'll take on anything. Yeah, Gertrude. She isn't, I've met her, she's not, well, she's not evil, she's the, uh, well, let's see what's, it. anyway, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I want you to go and see her and find out what she's been up to. I know she lives in fear of the Holy Church, so tell her I sent you. That will make her talk and think twice about encouraging witchcraft. If you learn that she truly did involve folk in some foolishness, find out all you can and deal with it. I'll do it, but you better help me in return, you know, about old Limpy Lubosch. Consider it done. Good. And never fear. I'm a man who always pays his debts. You'll find Gertrude, the old herb woman, in the woods. May the Lord watch over you. Yeah, that's the quest, playing with the devil. Yeah, that is the quest. That is an awesome quest. All right, go and see Gertrude. Yeah, I know where she is, actually. I already know because I found her, and she's she's not in Ujit. So that's a different one she, he's talking about. I found another herb woman. Oh, yeah, no, it's... Hold on a minute, it's this one here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know why it's coming out of the question mark. I found her already. Yeah, cool. All right, lovely, lovely. Right, how long have we been recording for now? Yeah, I think this rain is so noisy. I couldn't even hear him talk now. Can we just go in somewhere? There we go. Let's go in here, man. I can't even hear myself think, yeah? Right, there we go. Yeah, rain's noisy. Cool. All right, guys. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave the episode right there, guys. Uh, just been running for a bit too long now. I don't know, I'm trying to keep them manageable size episodes. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, wow. Limpy Lubosh is dead. We found Ginger. We spoke to Ginger. We found out Limpy Lubosh. Lubosh is dead. We got to find out like who's causing this. Pretty much as the humans, I think. Uh, but yeah. All right, guys. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, smash the old like. I appreciate it. You know that. And what's more, leave a comment if you want to. If you know any kind of tips and tricks I've kind of missed or anything like that, leave them in the comments down below. And go ahead and subscribe if you want to for more Kingdom Come Deliverance. We're going to get this game finished before February, and then we're going to jump straight into the new one. It's going to be awesome. All right, guys. Well, take care, and I'll see you on the next one. See you later.